to brews and tutorials. Here's a little video about why you should never, ever use and buy pea straw. We um, thought it was great, heard stories about it being really, really good. And then we bought a bag and as soon as we got it in, people said to us, oh, no, no, you shouldn't buy that. You shouldn't buy pea straw. It'll grow peas everywhere. And I'm thinking, well, I don't care. I'm thinking like a pea, a little springy thing might come up a little pea plant and that'd be cool and easy to pull out. But what's actually happened is that these little weeds, you look in through there, see all those little fine, fine green weeds? They are popping up absolutely everywhere. And when you go to pull them out, they break off. They don't come out. They are an absolute nightmare. And there are billions of them throughout this um, stuff everywhere we put it. A lot of this was potted into potty mix, so there were no weeds in it. And we've now down put down a mulch, which we paid for, bought in a sealed plastic bag of pea straw. And I'll give you some more examples. In here, this is absolutely full of these little green mungles. And as I said, they don't come out. You pull them and they just break off. So we've gone from a no weed situation to huge beds all the way along here all of that stuff up there all the way down here we put mulch on all of it and have a look everywhere you look weeds to be pulled up through there thick as and we've been weeding this already but um it is just an absolute disaster so whatever you do do not they're tiny, look at them. Do not buy pea straw as a mulch because it's a mulch complete with its own disastrous, hazardous weeding situation. So I'm pulling them and they're not coming up roots and all, they're just breaking off. So they're probably gonna keep on coming. So it really is an absolute disaster and our gardens are absolutely chock-a-block with these little weeds. So whatever you do, whatever sort of mulch you buy, don't make it pea straw.